Many years ago, I saw a famous TED Talk by Hans Rosling about the developing world and about the lifespan and longevity and wealth of the developing world and how it's increasing over time. And I saw him use a visualization, much like the one you're seeing right here, to explain how what we thought about the developing world was actually not correct. And so I, I've always wanted to recreate that. And it turns out that in Power BI, you can recreate visualizations just like that. This is a scatter chart that's playable over time. And I was really excited to play around with it and to learn about it and to use data that was pertinent to me. Where I got this data was a place called Gapminder. So this this website, gapminder.org, has a whole bunch of data sets. It has 519 data sets. And if you type in the words HIV, you'll see 14 data sets related to HIV. Why did I pick HIV? Because my future wife actually works in HIV for a, the, a program called the PEPFAR program. And I wanted to create a visualization that I thought she'd be interested in so she could see what the tooling could do. She's working on a doctoral program. She works in Africa probably seven times a year related to HIV. And I wanted her to be able to use a tool to get a message across, much like Hans Rosling did with this. So what's going on here? There's a lot going on here. And if we just kind of click a year randomly, and, and I, I'll explain this visualization. This y-axis is the number of uh, amount of aid received per person from $0 per person to $250 per person by country. That's the legend. And if you click over here, you can see legend is country and x -axis, or y-axis is aid per person. The x-axis over here is the amount of death. So from zero death to 500,000 deaths per year related to HIV. That's our death count. And you can see like down here, if we go to like 1994, it's, it's maybe 100,000 deaths for Uganda. And then as we go farther, let's just play it and see if we can see any kind of insights here. That, and obviously my play axis right here is by year. And you can see year shoot up here. Yep. And now what you're seeing here is the height of the HIV epidemic right here in 2007. And you see that South Africa kind of shot forward in 2007, um, inching towards half a million HIV deaths that year. Um, and then all of a sudden what you'll notice is it turns the corner and the death rate starts going down. And what made the death rate go down in 2010 and 2011? Well, in the mid-2000s, President Bush, George W. Bush, enacted a program called the PEPFAR program. And since then, President Obama has continued to fund it and advance its cause. This program recognized that there was a huge HIV epidemic in sub-Saharan Africa. And then if we didn't step in, we would lose a generation of, of people in specific countries. Now, what you'll see is that as time goes on, the amount of aid per person is increasing. If you look at the South African bubble, you can see it go up almost double whoop, and then turn a corner. So if we stop around 2010, what you'll notice is now our death count is almost half or inching towards half. Our prevalence rate has dropped a full percentage point and our aid per person didn't even double. It went from like $15 a person to $20 a person. So a little bit of aid increase and all of a sudden we can make a big impact and save actual lives. Now, I did this HIV um, visualization in Power BI Desktop, and then I uploaded it. I just clicked the Publish button into the Power BI portal, into the service. And that's what this looks like. And when I click on, like, um, Margo HIV, Margo's my partner's name, she can now look at this in Chrome, and she can share it with her colleagues, and they can all kind of look at it if she wants. Now, in addition to that, what I can do in the Power BI service is I can click on here and say, please give me some insights. So what's happening in the background is it's using machine learning to look at my data set, and it's telling me things that I might not have noticed. For instance, it says in the Northern Mariana Islands, it has noticeably more aid per person. And look, it looks like it's uh, 12, is it, can, that can't be right. So that seems like an outlier. I must be wrong. There's no way we're giving that amount of money. But um, Paolo has, you know, roughly, oh, a total of $50,000 aid per person over all the years. That might be right. And then Micronesia goes all the way down to like $17,000 per person as a total for all the data sets. So this is just an introduction video to this Power BI um, data cleaning and visualization. I'm going to now lay out a bunch of other videos to show you exactly how to clean data, how I collected it, how I cleaned it how I organized it, and how I presented it so that you can recreate Hans Rosling's video just or his visualizations just like I did. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Thanks. Have a great day.